Hello everyone. So the topic of this video lecture is mutations. In this video lecture, we'll try to understand what is meant by mutation. We'll have a very basic but deep understanding about the definition of mutation. Then we'll shift into the significance of mutations as to why do we need mutations at all in this living world? And then we'll also jump into the causes of mutations. So to start with, let's understand what is a mutation. To understand the definition of mutation, you need to understand the meaning of word mutate. To mutate is to change. So when we say that we have mutated something, we actually mean that we have brought about some change into it. Okay. Now in biological context, where does that change takes place? Where does that change happens actually creates the essence of the definition of mutation? Let's see. In biology, that change happens at the DNA level. So any change in the DNA that will actually impact the genetic information of a living being is called a mutation. Now, a very basic question arises. Why is it that a change in the DNA is called mutation? Why not a change in proteins is called a mutation? Or why not a change in RNA is called mutation? Why is it that a change in the DNA is called as mutations? To understand that difference, to understand the reason behind that, let's understand a very basic analogy. Every nation has a constitution, right? That constitution has a set of rules, regulations, policies that must be followed by, by that nation and its citizens to progress and work properly. Any change that happens at the constitution level will be reflected at the nation as well as the citizen level. Similarly for us, we are the nation but our DNA is our constitution. It's the DNA which actually encodes for the RNA, which in turn encodes for the proteins, which in turn expressed together to create us or the living organism. So if any change which happens at the DNA level will actually reflect at the RNA level, will actually reflect at the protein level and which in turn will reflect at the organismal level as well. So it makes sense when we say that it's the changes at the DNA level that are called as mutations because any change in the DNA will actually change everything. DNA is the essence, is the basis of every living organism. So. I hope you have got the very basic understanding of mutations now and how intimately they are connected to the DNA. But I'm very much sure that most of you were aware of the concept of mutation since your childhoods. Don't get amazed. Let me show you something. Ninja Turtles. Aren't you aware of them? Well, they are nothing but outcome of mutation only. Some mutation happened to a very little turtle in the beginning which reflected into a very powerful turtle. He became a powerful ninja turtle. So this concept of mutation was very much there with the director or the producer of this series. But does that mean that the concept of mutation is just a fictional concept? No. It is very much a real concept. Let me show you some real life examples. This case of polydactyly, where this, 
the where the feet of the child have more digits than the normal is actually an outcome of mutation only and it is very much a real life case it's not fiction similarly for this this case of double headed snake it's also an outcome of mutation and it is also a real life case so you see that mutation actually happens it does happen in the li living world so the, now the question arises why do we need mutation at all what is the significance of mutations let's understand that as well and i'll try to make you understand that using a very classical case i hope you all are aware of the case of evolution right we started with very simplistic organisms evolved over time and became highly complex and highly functional beings how did that happen actually it happened because of very slow and gradual changes which happened at the genetic and genetic level and improved the living kind over time and those changes were nothing but the outcome of mutations only so evolution is actually based on mutations only mutations are the very basis of evolution mutations cause all the variation amongst the evolving kind they create the raw material for the variation and they lead to evolution so now you see how important mutations are in this living world we still are evolving and that's just because of mutations so does that mean mutation is very very useful very fruitful and a very good phenomena to happen no there are some dark sides to it as well let me show you another example cancer a deadly disease which almost every time leads to death ultimately it's an outcome of mutations only so mutation at the dna level leads to uncontrolled growth of cells and that uncontrolled growth becomes cancer and it is an outcome of mutations only and that's not a good outcome that's a harmful impact of mutations right similarly there are many other diseases as well which are caused by mutations only this case of down syndrome is also an outcome of mutation a mutation where extra dna content gets generated similarly this case of cystic fibrosis is also an outcome of mutation and this case of tay sachs disease is also an outcome of mutations only there are many other diseases as well so the point to be taken is mutations have harmful as well as useful outcomes let me show you some an interesting example rather where mutation reflect themselves as being good as well as bad at the same time the classical case of sickle cell anemia some mutation happens at the dna level which leads to the change of physiology as well as the morphology of the red blood cells wherein they become sickle cell shaped and that illness is called sickle cell anemia but sickle cell anemia cannot happen if a person is having just one mutated gene a person needs to have two copies of the mutated gene to get the illness if a person is having just one copy of the mutated gene he is called a carrier because he can transmit the disease to his next generation through his gametes to his sex cells but he cannot have the illness he won't have the illness 
but by being a carrier of the gene he actually becomes immune to malaria the mosquito born disease you see the advantage of this mutation so whereas one copy of defective gene actually confers resistance to the malaria carrying two copies of the gene defective gene the mutated gene causes the illness of sickle cell anemia isn't it amazing so now you saw how good mutation can be how bad mutation can be you also understood about the definition of mutation but what causes mutation what are the causes of mutations let's see well there are basically two causes of mutations i'm telling about the broad causes okay it can be genetic or it can be environmental genetic causes as the name defines they are because of hereditary factors means you get a mutated gene you get a mutation from your ancestors such kind of mutations are also called germline mutations because these propagate from generation to generation one generation transfers the mutation to the next generation through their gamete cells to their gametes or the sex cells so they keep propagating through generation through the lineages such are such mutations are so called genetic genetic mutations caused by germline mutations okay and there can be other factors physical factors termed as environmental causes so those those include some harsh chemicals or some uv rays or other external factors that can damage your dna so dna damaging factors in the environment become the environmental causes of mutation like you must have heard about cigarette smoking being a ca cancerous can cause cancers and those cancers are because caused because of the mutations only so cigarette has some chemicals that can actually damage your dna which in turn can activate cancer condition in a being, living being so those are the environmental causes and such mutations are actually not transferred to the next generations it is a very important point to be taken they are not transferred to next generation because they do not use they usually do not impact your sex cells or the gametes so they are therefore called somatic mutations they are not germline mutations so you got another two terms germline mutations and somatic mutations germline mutations being connected to the genetic causes somatic mutations often being connected to the environmental causes so friends in this video we covered the basic definition of mutation then we looked into why mutation is important what's the significance of mutation and we had some very brief understanding about the causes of mutation as well in the next video we'll try to cover what are the types of mutation how the various causes of mutation cause various types of mutation to give you some cues there are some, some types of like point mutation there are frame shift mutation and there are many other mutation which we'll cover in detail in the next video till then i suggest you to subscribe to this channel and also visit videos.biotechnologyforums.com which has a lot of video content arranged in the form of courses you can access various courses follow a routine there a lot of video content is there much is under development as well i hope you enjoyed my lecture stay tuned take care this is sunil nagpal